Hello, I am Guillermo Gonzalez Lopez and I am going to present this study called Efficacy and Safety of Wet Drop Therapy in Atopic Dermatitis, a Systematic Review of meta Wet Drop Therapy consists in the application of topical steroids, usually mild topical steroids or diluted potent topical steroids over all the skin surface, followed by the application of a first layer of wet cotton garments and a second layer of dry cotton garments. The patient usually wears these garments for 24 hours to just overnight every day and it is intended to be a short-term management strategy for patients with severe flares of atopic dermatitis. It has been said to be very useful uh, for this purpose, but we wanted to perform a systematic review of the literature on wet drop therapy in atopic dermatitis to assess its efficacy and safety. So what we did, look for randomized clinical trials, and we wanted to know all the randomized clinical trials that compare wet drop therapy against other treatment modalities in patients with atopic dermatitis. We performed a systematic search, including, including an electronic search, and the details of it can be found uh, in the full text of the, our article. And we wanted to know the results of the following outcomes, clinical severity, quality of life, mild and severe adverse events, and we also wanted to assess the risk of bias of each study according to the Cochrane Collaboration Tool. We also wanted to perform, we attempted to perform a meta-analysis and pooled estimate for each outcome across all studies whenever heterogeneity and clinical diversity were deemed to be not too large and thus meta-analysis was deemed to be feasib feasible. So in total we found six clinical trials. All of them were comparing wet drop therapy against topical steroids. So there were no comparisons against other treatment strategies other treatment strategies like oral steroids or immunosuppressive drugs. These six studies had a different methodology they uh, all use the basic uh, wet drop therapy scheme that I have explained before, but the potency of the steroids used were different, the duration of the study were different from two to three days to four weeks. They were all randomized parallel trials, except one of them that was a left to right comparison, and the number of patients ranged from 19 to 50. They all included children and they only included pediatric patients, except one of them that also included adults. As for the results, if we look at clinical severity, only three studies had a direct comparison of the mean, uh, the mean severity at the end of the study between both groups. So th they are these three studies, and we can see that one of them found a significant difference against uh, wet drop therapy. Another one found a significant difference that favored wet drop therapy, and the third one found a non-significant difference. As for the studies not included here, two of them reported a significant difference that favored, favored wet drop therapy but did, in, did not report the magnitude of this effect. And the other one reported a significant difference in the median severity at the end of the study that favored, favored wet drop therapy. So uh, to sum up, the results were very diverse. Uh, some studies found significant difference favoring wet drop therapy, uh, one of them against the heterogeneity was uh, deemed to be too high because uh, we calculated the I square and it was 76%. So uh, we did not perform a meta-analysis in this case. As for mild adverse events, um, the mild adverse events that were found in these studies were basically uh, local skin infections like folliculitis and infected eczema. Only three studies reported mild adverse events. And in this case we could calculate a pooled estimate meta-analysis that showed that there was a risk, a relative risk of uh, 6.35 that was non-significant. So there was a slight tendency to more infections in patients that use wet drop therapy, but it could not be proven. It was non-significant. As for the other outcomes we wanted to measure, um, quality of life was only uh, reported in one study, this one. It reported a non-significant difference in these two quality of life um, questionnaires, the other studies did not report the results on quality of life or did not measure them at all. As for severe adverse events, um, there, was n there were no severe adverse events reported in any of the studies. And by severe adverse events, we meant systemic uh, effects of the steroids like road retirement, etc., or irreversible skin changes like skin atrophy. None of the studies reported any severe adverse event in any patient in any of the groups. 
there were some limitations to this study. The quality of the evidence of the evidence of the results I have just presented was graded as low according to the grade um, approach to grading evidence in systematic reviews. Why was it graded as low quality of the evidence? Because all of the studies, all of the uh, when we ana um, performed an assessment of each outcome, there was always at least one study that was deemed to be at high risk of bias, according to the Cochrane Collaboration Tool. There was also inconsistency in the results, which means there was a high heterogeneity of results in the assessment of uh, clinical severity, as we saw in the previous uh, slide. There was a high heterogeneity when we assessed um, clinical severity across all the studies. So. Uh, the fact that there was this high heterogeneity downgraded one point in the grade assessment tool. Finally, there was a high imprecision when we assessed quality of life and mild local adverse events. There was a small number of patients that we could assess, so the confidence intervals were very wide. This imprecision uh, downgraded another point in the grade assessment scale. So what are the take-home messages? What are the conclusions of all this? Well, we think the main conclusion is that the evidence that wet rub therapy are more effective than topical steroids in atopic dermatitis is of low quality. Also, the effects on quality of life are inconclusive. As for local adverse events, um, as we said before, wet rub therapy may, may involve a high risk of mild local infections, but again, this could not be proven and there was no evidence of severe adverse events in any patient. What we think is the main conclusion of this study is that trials with a higher number of participants, adequate reporting of methods and a longer follow-up uh, are needed in order to further uh, ascertain the efficacy and safety of wet drop therapy in patients with atopic dermatitis. Thank you very much.